hello guys today i show you the easiest and fastest way how to instantly win the early game in league of legends guys my name is mario i'm a fiora one trick and today something really bad happened i was laning versus set as fiora and i won the lane i even killed um, the enemy top laner and the enemy jungler 1v2 so I was like 4-0, 5-0 and I was really winning the lane and then at one point Seth was using his W and his E and then I crashed the wave under his turret and I thought I can dive him but he already had his E and his W back up so I was not aware of his cooldowns and therefore I was not able to dive him and I died so I gave him a chance to come back where I actually was in a position where he shouldn't be able to come back. So if I w would have been aware of his cooldowns, actually I wouldn't have tried to dive him. So what is very important and this counts for top lane and mid lane um, a lot. So top lane and mid lane you 100% have to do this. On the bottom lane it's a little bit tricky because you have to look at two people and in jungle also it's a little bit different but usually it is the same. So you should also do that as a jungler also as a support and a ADC. Um, and what it is I will show you in a second. We are just waiting for the enemy top laner to pick his champion and then I'm going to show you what I mean. Alright, Renekton it is so I will really quickly uh, okay, my runes are fine, my summoners are fine. So what uh, we are doing now is we are going to... Give me a second. We are going to u.gg. And then we will look for our enemy laner. Um, if you're playing jungle, it's the enemy jungler. And then... We scroll down, first of all we can see which runes he will go, which summoner spells he will most likely go, it's not 100%, but um, you also can check the matchup, for example I can type in Fiora and then I see the win rate of Renekton into Fiora, he has negative win rate so it's good for me. Also I recommend you uh, looking up Diamond 2+, plus. so it's 50% win rate, it's okay. But what's actually important, why are we actually here is because of this. Here we have the passive Q, W, E, R and his skill path. This is very important. But what we are actually going to look at is the cooldowns. So what I already know is that he will most likely skill his Q at level 1. And his skill uh, uh, and his Q will have a 7 seconds cooldown. So when he uses it, he will have 7 seconds without any ability. Then next up he will uh, skill his E which has a 80 second cooldown on level 1 and he will not level it up until level 8. So until level 8 his E has a 18 seconds cooldown which is a lot. His W next has 16 seconds cooldown. He will only level this up at level 14. So for the early we can say this is at, at uh, 7 seconds from level 1 to 5 so we can say Q is 7 seconds he will have this on level 1 and this on level 1 until level 8 so that that's enough if we look at this that's enough so his W is 16 his E is 18 seconds his Q is 7 seconds I will now um, remember this in my mind also we can see the cooldown it's 120 seconds on all levels that's very good that's also very good because sometimes that's um, very important because sometimes you use your um, your R at the same time and then when you for example recall and go back to lane and you have your R up and you're not sure if your enemy also has R up it's very important to look that up right so now I know Q has 7 seconds um, W I think was um, uh, 16 seconds and this E 18 seconds I will I will look it up one more time um, a moment 7, 16, 18. Exactly. So 7, 16, 18. And he will have his Q, then at level 1 his E, and then his W. Okay, guys? So this is not only for top and mid, but also for bot lane. But on bot lane, you will have to check the cooldowns of your a enemy ADC and also of your enemy uh, support. So it's, it gets a little bit harder, a little bit tricky. But in the jungle, also, just look it up of your enemy jungler. Because 
Uh, at some point, you will maybe end up in a 1v1. For example, if you invade him, for example, if he invades you, for example, as Scuttle Crab, okay? So guys, do this and win the early game by just having um, the cooldowns of your enemy in mind and then therefore outplay them because you just have more knowledge than them and you can outsmart them. Guys, that's it for today's video. If you learned anything from this video, if it was helpful, leave a like, comment down below, let me know what your role is, what your champion is, uh, that's really nice to hear. Do you play Fiora, do you play another champion? Let me know in the comments. And if you haven't already, just subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Because I'm posting daily content on League of Legends, because I'm helping you guys to get better at League of Legends and finally climb to the rank you always wanted. Guys, with this being said, I'm tuning out. See you in the next video. Oh, that was close. But okay. It's okay. Alright, guys. Bye-bye.